Ok. Bem, vamos retomar então nossas atividades. Nós temos a honra de convidar o doutor Lei. É Chi Lei é graduado na North China Electric Power University, em Hebei, China, onde recebeu os diplomas de Engenharia, em 2000, Mestre em Ciências, em 2003, e PhD, em 2006, em Engenharia Elétrica. Atualmente é professor associado na Faculdade de Engenharia Elétrica e Eletrônica da North China Electric Power University, sua área de interesse inclui métodos numéricos aplicados a campos eletromagnéticos, compatibilidade eletromagnética e tecnologia de transmissão em ultra alta tensão. Participa de diversos programas de pesquisa governamentais na China. Doutor Lee, por favor, please. Okay, thank you, Professor. Uh, good morning, everybody. My pre pre presentation is a compensation technology for electric lens uh, and uh, power extraction system of half wave lens is power transmission lines. Uh, including four parts. First one, first of uh, generation introduction. Next. Compensation technology, the third one, power extraction system, the last uh, conclusions. China is the vast popular country of which the level of development and resources distribution very widely. In China, its profitable power resources are mostly disputed in the west regions of China while the power load distributed are mostly in the east. The lens between east and west is about 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers, so that the long distance light capacity power transmission system is very useful in China. Now, there are two, two modes of long distance large capacity power transmission system, one for UHVAC transmission system. Another is UHVDC transmission system. This, tab this table lists the alternative uh, voltage tab. Uh, for 1,000 kilowatts, UHVAC, say the distance is no longer than 2,000 kilometers, and it needs large amounts of reactive power compensation, which increase which increase its engineering cost. As for 1,100 kilowatts, UHVDC, though the transmission distance is no, is longer and the capacity is larger. However, the construction cost is higher. Consequently, the model of UHV, UHV, HWACT is proposed to solve the problems of long distance and large capacity power transmission. The advantage of UHV, HWACT in China. <coughs> The first, no need to install any reactive load compensation equipment. Second, no need to build any, any switching station. Lower or voltage level, the last, the last bad economy efficiency. Uh, in China, from 2009 to 2011, sponsored by state grid, four institute of scientific research have joined the research team on UHV HWACT. They are CEPRI, SPERI, SGEPRI, and North China Triple University. Uh, 
the different research aspects of industry capacity in China uh, focus on the following aspects. One, insulation coordination. Uh, the first, the second, uh, electromagnetic transient characteristic. The third, steady state operation characteristics. Next, the current uh, differential protection principle for HWACT. Next, economic analysis and reliability assessment. The last one, compensation technology for electrical lines and uh, power extraction system of HWACT. <coughs> Here are the 10 articles by the Chinese, Chinese authors. About uh, HWACT. <coughs> the two parts, uh, the second part, uh, compensation technology. <coughs> the electrical length of the HWACT is about half a wavelength, and the length is about uh, 3,000 3, kilometers uh, for 50 hertz or 2,500 kilometers for at uh, 60 hertz. Subject to conditions, the practical balance between the two ends is hard to be extract exact uh, half wavelength when the length is shorter than the half wavelength. Approximately, technology should be employed to increase the in electrical length up to a wavelength, half wavelength. Theoretically, the compensation circuit and the Compensated line should have the same transfer parameters matrix so that the voltage and the current distribution of the other part of the transmission line will not be affected. In figures, the left is the standing end, uh, and the left end is the receiving end. <coughs> For the uniform lossy transmission line, uh, we can uh, we can obtain the transfer transfer parameters matrix T. Here is the equation, <coughs> where they say is the uh, character characteristic impedance, uh, comma is per, proper propagation constant constant, and. Uh, uh, for the power transmission line is the uh, lower loss transmission line and uh, so that the parameters matrix T can be approximated as the following parameters matrix that is the transmission line is regarded as lossless. There are two types of compensation circuit. One is the T T tab compensation circuit, uh, there are two inductance and uh, one capacitance. The third one is a pi type compensation circuit, there is one inductance and uh, two capacitance. The capacitance value in T tab compensation circuit is greater than that in pi compensation circuit, and the inductance value in T compensation circuit is less than that. Uh, pi uh, compensation circuit. Compared with the real transmission line, the compensation circuit given can completely fit the reactance and subsequence parts of the transmission line, and the resistance and the conductance parts of the line is ignored. Here are the capacitance and the inductance for T and the pi compensation circuit. As an example, uh, two uh, 1,000 kilowatts ultra high voltage AC transmission line, the per, per unit length positive sequence impedance is this equation. <coughs> Here are some results and the discussions. 
one, dependence of capacitance and inductance on composition lengths. From the two figures, uh, we can see that within the range of capacitance the lengths being disturbed. Uh, zero to from zero to 500 kilometers, the values of composition cap, uh, capacitor capacitor and inductance are ex approximately uh, proportional to the composition lens. The value of the compensating capacitor in p tab compensation circuit is about twice as in pi compensation circuit and the value of compensating factors in pi compensating compensation circuit is about twice as in t compensation circuit. The value of compensating capacitor is about several uh, microfarad and uh, the value of capacitive inductance is larger and uh, the maximum value is equal to hundreds of millihertz. And sending end and the receiving end approximately have the same voltage amplitude and input impedance, which is an important characteristic of HWACT. The value of input impedance at the sending end will be very large if there is no load at the receiving end. But the value of input impedance may be small if the practical, practical line length is shorter than half of length due to the transmission line effects. At this, case, at this time, there will be still some load at the sending end, even if there is no load at the receiving end. Voltage at the sending end receives less than length with the receiving end opened. This curves for half length, half wave length, and uh, uh, both after compensation. Uh, this curves for without compensation. Uh, from the figure, we can see that compensation can be helpful to achieve the same results as HWACT. The voltage amplitude at the sending end, UI, is equal to that at the receiving end, UL. The voltage at the sending end will be significant, significant less than that at the receiving end. Without compensation, the greater of the distance difference between the practical length and the half wave length, the here, the voltage level. Input impedance at the sending end versus length with the receiving end open. Uh, we can see that when the practical length is half wave length, the, le the value of input impedance at the sending end the, uh, will be about 20 times larger than the value of characteristic impedance they see, and uh, the value of the I will be more than 20 times larger than the value of they see with the compensation. The value of input impedance at the sending end will be small without compensation. So, the same end will still output 20% natural power even if there is no load at receive end. Uh, distributed compensation points can be considered to reduce the claim of compensation inductance uh, because the inductance is very, very large. Uh, some compensation points are evenly distributed in the transmission line. In figure, it is the distance between two compensation points. N is the number of uh, compensation points. This figure gives the uh, influence of the number of compensation points on compensation effectiveness. Uh, we can see that 
Suppose the length of the transmission line is 2,500 kilometers, and the apparent power at the receiving end is 80% natural power, with a power factor of uh, 0.9. We can see that the compensation effect has reached the stable if the number of the compensation points is more than 5. It means that more compensation points are not necessary. These two figures give the uh, influence of a power at the receiving end on voltage and uh, improved impedance at the same end, where the N equals 10. We can see that the values of voltage and the input impedance at the same end are basically the same as that in the half wavelength transmission line with conversation. The values of voltage and the impedance at the same end will be significantly less than that in the half wavelength transmission line without conversation. And the lower power at the receiving end is greater the difference. The two, figure, two figures give the influence of power factor and uh, power, power factor angle at the receiving end on voltage and the input impedance at the receiving end. At the same end, <coughs> we can see the values of voltage and the input impedance at the same end are basically the same as the in the half wavelength transmission line with in conversation, the values of voltage and the impedance at the same end will be significantly uh, less than or larger than that in the half wavelength transmission line without compensation. When the power factor angle is less or more than zero degree and the greater the reactance comp component and of the load, the greater the difference. The third part is the power extraction system. <coughs> Considering China's, China's national condition, the HWACT transmission line often passes the place where the economies are less developed. When the HWACT is only from one end to another, it does no good to the place where it passes by. However, by applying the power extraction system, this, prob this problem could be solved. It's not hard in practical engineering and also economical. Uh, there are several methods uh, for power extraction system. One, uh, use a sub substation. The drawback is the most uh, traditional method, but the cost is high. Uh, the second one is insulated ground wheel. Uh, the capacity is low. It can only provide very limited power to the local load and all the communication equipment. The third one is energy extraction reactor. The drawback is the cost is here and it requires set or switching station. The last one is our recommended method, uh, parallel energy extraction line. Economical, flexible, and easy to be implemented in practical engineering. Basic principle of the scheme. According to the theory on electromagnetic field, due to the electro electrostatic uh, induction bit between the energy extraction line and the transmission, transmission line, there will be certain voltage to Earth on the energy extraction line. In this figure, here is the insulated ground wheel. Here, uh, factor A, B, and C. Here is the power extra extraction line through the transformer to the load. Uh, equivalent circuit of power traction extraction system. Uh, in this figure, 
uh, EIS is an equivalent open circuit, uh, open circuit voltage, which comes from an electromagnetic conduction. The IS is the internal impedance of an equivalent source. The two parameters are decided by the space electromagnetic company between the transmission line and the power extraction lines. Uh, based on the half wavelength AC transmission system, a simulation model had, had been built for the transmission lines and the power extraction lines. The equipment, equipment open circuit voltage is gained by applying the MTLS. Uh, Turbine equipment is done for the power extraction system, and the parameters of equipment source are calculated. The following part will demonstrate how the different, different factors influence the parameters of equivalent source. For the open circuit voltage, these two figures give the uh, results for um, horizontal arrangement uh, and uh, in triangular arrangement. Uh, the four curves almost are the same. Uh, one from capacitive company, only com uh, capacitive company considered, and the last three, <coughs> both uh, inductive and uh, capacitive company, uh, both uh, considered. We can see that with the transmission line in the horizontal arrangement, the open circuit will increase when the average height increases. When the transmission line is in triangular agreement, when the average height increases, the open circuit voltage will increase first and uh, then decrease. The length of the track line makes little difference uh, when it comes to open circuit voltage uh, because uh, the inductive coupling could be ignored. Uh, in term, internal impedance, the two figures give the uh, results in horizontal arrangement and uh, in triangular agreement for different uh, word type. The two figures give the uh, results for different for different line lines. We can see that. Uh, it could be excluded from the figures that the longer the lens and the bigger the radius, the smaller will the internal impedance be when the transmission line is in horizontal arrangement at the height of 5 to 28 meters. The change of the, okay, the, change of the internal impedance is small when the transmitter is in triangular agreement, when the height is above 10 meters, the internal impedance gets stored. This is a practical engineering. The lengths of the extraction line are made to be uh, 10 kilometers. Use the current, current voltage level as open circuit voltage and the corresponding extraction line are chosen. The results are shown below. Here, Only three, three kinds of voltage level are uh, chosen. Load characteristics. Point traveling system are really built in the place where the economy are less developed so that the industry power consumption is relatively small. This presentation mainly focuses on the pure resistance load and the lo load with the power factor of uh, 0 point, 0 point 0.9. The figure below is a development circuit of power distribution system, uh, where U is the voltage at the, at the load and uh, P and Q are the, are the power consumed by the load. From the figures above, it could be uh, concluded that when the load of the power extraction system increases, the voltage 
on the load and will decrease rapidly. Uh, set the low voltage set of the power charge system to be 10 kilowatts according to China's relative standard levels of the voltage should be within 7%. Uh, the chart above shows the critical power, which is the maximum power that the system could, uh, can provide, and the qualified power, which meets the power quality, quality requirement compared with the resistive load, the inductive load had worse performance, which means that improving the uh, power factor is of great significance. Next is the improvement method of load characteristics. Because of the large inter internal impedance of the extractive system, that the system has a very low ability to provide power to load, since the internal impedance is mo mostly capacitive. Series compensation reactor could be installed on the center side of, uh, of the transformer to improve the performance. From the two figures, we can see the results after, after compensation are shown. Uh, it can be seen that after compensation, the performance improves significantly. However, it is at the cost that the compensation reactor absorbs a large amount of reactive power. Consequently, the load of the system should not be, to be, uh, not be too large or it will have high, high requirement for the capacity of the composition reactor. Uh, these two tables give the uh, power supplied by power extraction system before composition and after composition. We can see that the, uh, the method is very useful. The two figures give the uh, single phase earth fault act in the UHWHWCT line. The transmission line in horizontal arrangement and in triangular arrangement. The results of transmission line in different arrangements are shown. Sure. Uh, in horizontal arrangement, the angular phase Therefore, it will cause the equivalent voltage to increase, to increase, while the middle phase effort will cause the equivalent voltage decrease significantly. In triangular agreement, both kinds of force will cause the equivalent voltage to increase. And uh, generally, the higher the extraction length or the more serious uh, results will be. Another in single phase earth fault at the load line. We can see that the land current of high voltage side uh, before reactance composition and after reactance composition uh, is very different. Uh, the last, last part, dimension conclusions. Conclusions for composition technology. The compensation circuit composed of capacitance and inductance can effectively compensate the missing length of the transmission line even if the loss of the line is ignored. Though the comp composition of the voltage and input impedance at the sending end and the receiving end in several conditions. The value of the compensating capacitor in T-type composition circuit is about twice as in pi composition circuit, and the value of composition inductance in pi composition circuit about twice as in uh, T composition circuit. The value of composition capacitor is about several uh, microfarad, and the value of composition inductance is larger, and the maximum value is equal to hundreds of uh, uh, millihertz. Distributed uh, compensation points 
can be considered to reduce the claim of uh, compensating inductance, but the compensation effect will reach the stable, uh, stable if the compensation points had reached a certain number. And no compensation points are not necessary. Uh, for the condition that the length of transmission line is less than half, vo uh, half EV length, the voltage and impedance characteristics will be different from that in HWH's ACT without compensation, and the technical uh, advantage of hence two point transmission of HWACT is non existent without a compensation implied. Uh, conclusions for power extraction system. Through the research of the Stavis City system, the basic principle of the element, elementary parameters of the power extraction system are analyzed. The results show that it is practical to build a power extraction system by using power extraction line. Adding series compensation injectors to the power extraction system could be improved its load characteristics and uh, enlarge the power capacity of the system and the relative uh, current voltage protection device should be added to build a power extraction system. Uh, power extraction system has very important economical and social effect compared with domestic using power extraction land could be provide larger power capacity and uh, compared with power extraction reactors. Power extraction land are more economical, which make it a good possible choice. The impact that power extraction system cause to the power system and uh, its technical and uh, economical feasibility still need further study. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Muito obrigado pela apresentação, Dr. Lee. Nós vamos abrir então rapidamente pela pergunta dessa interessante apresentação. Alguém já na plateia? Dr. João. É, João Lima, Potência Engenharia Brasil. É, pelo que eu entendi, o princípio de funcionamento da linha de extração de potência é o acoplamento eletrostático da linha existente na linha que vai receber esta potência. É como é, fica o controle das sobretensões é, causadas por manobras no circuito principal. Como esse controle é feito? É de forma convencional, através de para-raios normais? Comentar, por favor. Thanks for questions. Uh, the principle of the system is uh, using the electromagnetic field company. Uh, only only uh, the capacitive and the inductive company uh, uh, could be considered. Sorry. Uh, this question, this problem is uh, 
not considered in this pre presentation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I think for the you know third uh, uh, you know suppressing uh, known as n you know you know the voltage is, n is not high anyway you know, for the power extraction line so uh, for the you know third m or, or maybe lighting protection or third uh, you know suppression it's just it's just the use the conventional ways yeah that's my point okay thank you. Когда мы говорим о сокращении длины линии, то мы эту процедуру называем компенсацией. Вы же линию удлиняете. Поэтому здесь не компенсация, а настройка. В России мы эту процедуру называем тюнинг. Почему вы, вы ее называете компенсация? Transmission line length is not exactly the half wave length. Yeah, that's why we use as electrically compensating uh, compensating system to you know to electrically add the length or reduce the length to half wave. Yeah, that's the point. As people normally do. Yeah, I, I I'm not sure uh, whether the, the answer is uh, good enough for you. Я не согласен, потому что речь идет о о изменении электрической длины. Раз вы обменяете, то, то это есть настройка. И И я предлагаю, чтобы в России и в Китае эту процедуру называли одинаково. Uh, okay, I know maybe I have known your point. I think maybe something, uh, uh, something of first, uh, you know, the, the name to be used. Yeah. Uh, what that means uh, if the length. Uh, how to say, it's not exactly the half wave, yeah, uh, yeah, if the length is the half wave, it's okay, it's, uh, that's good, you know, that ideal, yeah, uh, if not, uh, if not exactly the half wave length, then uh, some, you know, critical problems will, will emerge, for example, the overall teachers, is the main concern, I think, for the practical, you know, implementation of this technology, thing yeah and also the stability yeah it's uh, completely stable for the you know it's minor minor minus uh, minus one is a transformer it's just the what you have you know uh, presented you know in your ppt yeah but if it's not exactly the half wave lens then some problems happens yeah for example the stability and also the overall heaters that's my uh, maybe uh, uh, similar to the Professor Key, and we have, you know, the same comments. Yeah? Okay? No, no. no. <laughs> uh, Sorry about that. We have the same line of 2,000 kilometers. You want to make it in an electric way, close to the wave, 3,000 kilometers. Вы 
Вы добля... добавляете устройство. Угу. Так это устройство не компенсирующее, а настраивающее. Оно добавляет. Что у нас а, uh, okay. Yeah. You are using, uh, you know, another word for, for this, you know, uh, network, adjusting or tuning. Yeah, I agree. I do agree. You know, maybe we can change it. It's just something of seeing differently. Yeah? yeah. But, yeah, but we are, we are, you know, we are meaning the same thing. Yeah? So, if, you know, can, you know, have some detailed, uh, you know, discussion maybe after the, you know, in the break time, you have detailed, okay? Thank you. Okay, oh, o assunto é bastante empolgante, mas uh, realmente nós estamos no horário. E questões adicionais nós podemos discutir talvez no fechamento deixa as questões anotadas nós podemos voltar agradeço pelo brilhante apresentação e trabalho muito obrigado